Hi, I'm Sana, and I'm just going to show you a little bit about our one meter telescope here at the Allen I Carswell Observatory. So there are other videos on how you operate the telescope and the CCD, but this is just going to give you a bit of an idea about what the telescope looks like and what the technicians are going to be doing when you're logged on online when you're doing your observing projects. So this is our one meter telescope. Right now it is turned on, but the motors are not engaged. So what that means is I can actually just grab the telescope and move it around. I can point it anywhere really that I want. And keep in mind that this telescope weighs about a ton, so uh, it's quite remarkable that you can really just grab it and pull it and move it around with your, with your hands. So the telescope right now, right here, the mirror is in this part of the telescope. And right now these four petals are closed, and this is one of the first things that you'll be doing when you come to observe is opening the petals. So right now you can see that they're opening, and that will reveal the one meter mirror in the center. You have the tertiary mirror that's right in here that can rotate between both ports. So you can look at it through an eyepiece or a virtual eyepiece and the CCD camera on the other side. And at the end of the night, these will just close up just like that. You can, with the software, drive the telescope anywhere you want. You just, again, click on an object and it will slew and drive right over to it. So if you wanted to take pictures with the telescope or the thing that you will be using to take pictures is the CCD camera, which is right over on this side. You'll be learning about CCD cameras in class, but this is the one that we have here at the observatory and there's other videos on how to use that. On the other eyepiece that you won't be using in your project, but we'll show you now, is a virtual eyepiece that we use during our weekly Teletubes and online public viewings on Wednesdays and Monday nights. So if you'd like to see something with the telescope through the virtual eyepiece, make sure to tune into one of those. So in addition to the telescope, the other thing that the technicians will have to take care of is the dome. So these are the dome controls here. There's two different things. This one will rotate the dome. You'll have to rotate it every time you move the telescope to an object so that the telescope can point out of the dome. The other control is the shutter right here, which will open and close the shutter of the dome. And the technicians will have to open that at the beginning of the night and then close it at the end. So the other thing over in this corner of the dome is our high-tech flat field lamp. This is what you use to take flat fields with the CCD and the telescope. Basically what happens is that the technician will rotate the dome so that if the flattest part of the dome is around here, they just turn it on, point the lamp, edit so that it's, you have a nice flat field to image. They'll then move the telescope so that it's pointing at that area so that you can take your flat fields. Another thing that this telescope can do is turn on fans to cool the mirrors. This just helps with optics when the mirrors are cooler, you get a, a sharper image of, uh, of the object that you're looking at. So that's one of the things that this telescope can do that the technician will help you with. Uh, the other thing here is our CCD camera, which, which is right over here, the SBIG STXL6303 CCD camera that you'll be using to image. And to turn that on, there's a power bar right over here that your technician will just flip on. It'll make a bit of noise, it cools, so the fan that you can hear there is it cooling, and then you can also hear the filter wheel that's rotating. 